Hi, I'm Bob Tilly. Life is good. I was diagnosed with uh, stage two prostate cancer back in July. And, uh, and it's October and I'm cancer free. It's been a journey. It uh, started out in May of this year, experienced some bodily function uh, things that were seemed strange. I just retired in December and so I wanted to I had more time than I know what to do with, so I thought, well, you know, the symptom's kind of weird. I'm gonna have it checked out. I had changed insurance because I'd retired and I went to one guy, had a he had his diagnosis. He said, well, come back and see me in six to eight weeks and we'll go from here and we'll see how it goes. And I'm talking to a friend of mine at church and he goes, yeah, that doesn't seem right. Let's get you another opinion, you know, and uh, somebody I really know and love and trust. He said, uh, he said, let's let's get you another, I gotta, I gotta, I know a guy, I know a guy at St. John's. Sure enough, you know, got an appointment with uh, Dr. Timothy Wilson, right here with the good folks at St. John's. Started the process and uh, did the PSA numbers and the PSA level from my baseline when I was younger uh, to where it was when I had originally tested early May and then in later May, I uh, jumped up two points. So I knew something was up. And Dr. Wilson kind of said, we're gonna have to do some more testing, you know, but it sounds like, you know, we need to be aware of this, you know. Being mindful of my uh, family history, my dad, brother, suffering from prostate cancer. And um, so I knew I had to kind of move on this a little bit. You know, like I said, I just retired. I got more time than I know what to do with. So I was able to start the testing procedure and, uh, be diagnosed uh, with stage two cancer after a couple tests and a, and a, a biopsy, able to have the surgery, had my prostate gland removed uh, in July. Here we are in October, I'm still dancing. Things are good. You know, I didn't get here by myself. You know, something about uh, friends, you know, friends that uh, help you along the way and uh, so I was blessed to have good friends and uh, supportive wife and family and uh, yeah, so grateful. Grateful to be here, you know? So yeah, let it all turn out the way it did. It was just uh, the best. A friend of mine from church reached out to me and he called me and he uh, started like, hey, what's your symptoms? You know, cause I had just gone through this you know, five years ago and uh, I wanna, you know, kinda, what's happening, you know, we just talked about it. So he, he, was, he, was, he was great, Jeff. Uh, he was able to uh, kind of share my story and my symptoms and this guy that's been through it, you know, so I was able to ask him all the questions, all the what ifs and all the, oh my goshes. And uh, he was great, you know, and uh, so, you know, after, you know, half hour, 45 minutes on the phone and he goes, hey, listen, uh, you know, I don't get nosy or anything, but you know, just who's your doctor? And I go, well, Dr. Timothy Wilson out of St. John's. He goes, oh, shut up. That was my doctor. So, we had a good laugh. And, uh, it was good, it was good, so. I found out it was cancer free when, uh, after my last scan and my last uh, blood draw, I waited for the doctor to call me and, uh, he says, dude, you're cancer free. I was like, well, okay, fine. Now what's next? <laughs> it's kind of how I felt, you know what I mean? I just felt like uh, it was just such a blip on the radar really with my life, but it was just, uh, you know, when you're looking up the face of this mountain, you don't know what it is. It was big, but uh, now looking back, it's like, golly, that wasn't that tough after all. There's something to be said about knowing what's coming. Surgery was overnight. Uh, I mean, I stayed in the hospital overnight. Surgery length was uh, uh, three and a half hours, and uh, give or take. And um, I don't remember a thing, which is probably the best part of it. You know, it was, it was a uh, robotic surgery, the uh, Da Vinci method, and uh, my gosh, you know, I had six incisions in my stomach. And, you know, that, uh, that first week uh, was a little bit of a chore, you know what I mean, pain-wise. But um, yeah, yeah, they, they had me well ready for my, for what was next, you know, Dr. Wilson and uh, Dr. Gottlieb and 
Their staff is just fantastic. They were able to uh, tell me what to expect. Here's what's going to happen. You know, here's what you look forward to uh, or be aware of, you know, depending on how you want to look at it. So after the surgery and after the first two weeks of recovery, I thought, oh my gosh, I am on top of the world. Uh, I felt like, oh my gosh, this was so quote unquote easy. And you know, because of the friends and family around me, oh, this is soup. And then I did the silly thing. Uh, my brother, God bless my brother, Ron. If there's something on the floor, kick it out of the way. Don't pick it up. Well, two weeks into my recovery, I'm thinking I'm bulletproof here. I, something happened, my shirt fell on the, on the floor in the bedroom. I reached down to pick it up. Oh my gosh. I thought I'd gone to the moon. The pain in my stomach was just out of this world. And I'm sure I heard something tear. That silly maneuver on my part set me back, I think, 10 days, you know what I mean? I'd been in 10 days and that set me back 10 days. So it was like, oh my gosh, it was painful after that. But, um, uh, but after that, the recovery, knowing what's coming, know what to look forward to. And it's, the recovery was really simple. If you listen to the doctors, <laughs> yeah, that's my word of advice. The two doctors that saw me, along with the staff, they, like I said, everybody has been swell. Uh, but Dr. Gottlieb was, uh, he was like my uh, hands-on doctor. Uh, he's the one that would call me and uh, just shoot me an email to say, hey, here's what's going on. Or he would make sure that the staff would uh, make sure I'm gonna be ready for an appointment that's coming up or maybe in uh, working in fellowship with uh, with Dr. Wilson. He was fantastic and just, uh, what a great bedside manner too. Just a friendly guy and, uh, you know, hey, guys talking to guys about guy stuff. It was just uh, as seamless as, as you could be. So it's just very transparent, very real, uh, genuine, uh, caring, you know, good guy. Uh, every time I was here, it was just always a great experience. It was so simple. The folks in the office and, and all the staff are just so swell. You know, it's just been the, the whole journey uh, that I've been on. It's just been so swell. But all the folks at St. John's has been great. You know, anybody that, that uh, may suspect or, uh, boy, my body's acting a little different. Boy, get it checked. Come to St. John, see Dr. Wills if you can. Um, and yeah, you know, one thing after, you know, during my whole journey, I call it, uh, from discovery to, to the surgery, the successful surgery, my post-surgery uh, tests and whatnot came back great. I'm cancer-free, just a short few months away. It's all about responding and uh, being quick on it. One thing I've, I've found following my surgery is other folks coming up to me and goes, oh yeah, I had that done two years ago or three years ago and I'm, I'm doing great. And, you know, just a lot of, you know, good, good reports from different fellas along the way. It's like, okay, yeah. So I think, I think letting guys know that uh, it's out there and uh, you can be tested. It's so easy. It's a quick blood test, really. The initial screening is so simple and um, golly, it could change your life. Dr. Wilson came in to say hello. Say hello and say goodbye, right? He said, uh, well, everything looks good, you know, you're doing good. The nurses are gonna let you go home now. They've had enough of you. And I said, uh, there you go. And uh, I said, thanks for saving my life. What do you say, right? Thank you.